Okay, today we are going to be reading out of Jeremiah um, chapters 43, 44, and 46, and 2 Peter um, chapter 1. And in this section, we see some cool things, but I want to look at um, 2 Peter chapter 1 for a little bit today, which is him talking about um, our calling and one's election. And in this, you see him talk about what it looks like to have faith. And it's him reminding us that as long as we are continuing to move forward in our love and our wanting to know God's, we will be blessed by God and we will continue to move forward. Because you see him talk about the fact of, um, he's reminding us that we are cleansed for our um, sins by God. And as long as we continue to grow in faith, we continue to grow in love, we continue to grow in goodness, we continue to grow in our love for God, that we will continue to um, be able to do cool things for the kingdom and we shouldn't have our faith shaken by the things going on around us. Because that happens so often where we move into wanting to do ministry or we want to help someone find Jesus, but our our world is shaken because we go, no, my sin's too great. I'm not the right person to be able to tell them about Jesus, which isn't true. Well, yes, not all of us are called into full-time ministry and to share the gospel full-time for our, our everyday. We are also called to share the gospel. And as long as you are continuing to chase Jesus and you're continuing to show that you love God above all else and you are actively trying to make sure that your life is following God and you are mimicking the way how Jesus lived and you are trying to share the gospel with all those around you and you are pursuing God with your heart, you are good. You will be good. You will be the right person to minister to those in your life. So that is my encouragement to you today is I really want you guys to take some time and um, evaluate, for one, how much time are you actually spending um, trying to pursue Jesus and the qualities that he has told us to have? Because I know that there has been different points in my life where I have failed miserably to do so, and I need to do that self-evaluation. I've had to do that self-evaluation many times. And I want you guys to do the same. And if you guys are actively pursuing Jesus, what is an opportunity that you get can actually share the gospel with a coworker, with a relative, with a family member, whoever it may be that doesn't love Jesus yet? Who is someone in your life that you can actively show them Jesus by your actions and the way you live? But church, until next time, you are set.